Where Cal Rapist has been sentenced to life in prison, Roy Waller is now facing a 459 year sentence followed by a 438 year sentence. Melanie Wingo has reaction after today's sentencing. One by one, survivors giving impact statements at the sentencing of convicted NorCal rapist Roy Waller. I learned heartache from the day I met him. I learned heartfelt love from the people who worked so hard putting him away. Good and evil, I choose to look at the good. Teresa Lane, attacked and raped by Waller in 1992, describing that she's dealt with the trauma of her attack for more than half her life. Nicole Ernest Pate, attacked and raped by Waller in 1991, the last to read her victim impact statement. And although my mother lived long enough to see the arrest and arraignment of Roy Waller, she was not able to fight long enough to see him convicted, which was her dying wish and indeed her constant wish every single day for 28 years before she died in 2019. After the survivors spoke, Judge James Patrick Argulis proceeded to hand down Waller's sentence. In total, the defendant Roy Waller is sentenced to state prison for a term of 459 years to run consecutive to another term of 438 years to life. The maximum prison sentence allowed for each of the 46 counts Roy Waller was convicted of last month. Survivors expressing their solidarity with others and frustration with how rape survivors are treated after they come forward. And for any survivor who has not had the strength to do so, who is watching this today, the only person who should be ashamed of what happened to you is the person who did it to you. It is never, ever you. Sometimes you think you're alone, but you know, you're really not. Not when it comes to sexual assault. Prosecutors not surprised Waller showed no emotion when hearing he's sentenced to nearly 900 years in prison. He deserves every single second that um, Judge Arguez gave him today. He knows that he's been proven to be the NorCal rapist, and even though he won't admit, even though he won't apologize, even though he won't show some remorse, he will know what the jury has said um, based on today. Today, though, is about the survivors getting a day they've thought about for decades. I'm done. He's gone. I never have to think about him for one more second of my life, and that is the greatest relief I could ever, ever feel. Lead defense attorney Joseph Farina spoke briefly outside court today, saying he will appeal the sentencing. He says that Waller maintains his innocence. Reporting from downtown Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.